Now, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. I'm reading these words. There's an iPad up there on top of the camera, and the words are scrolling through, controlled by Tony, our producer over there, using an iPhone. It's an app we downloaded. Why am I telling you this? Well, smartphones like the iPhone are changing the way people do all sorts of things, and that includes farming. One of the latest examples comes from GRDC. It's a smartphone version of the ever-popular Weeds Ute Guide. While the original Ute Guide put a weed identification tool in the glove box, this app puts it right there on your phone or on your iPad. Well, to me, that looks, look, looks like heliotrope, so the easiest way to find that is we just do it in the search. So we just start typing in heliotrope and it comes up with that. You only have to type in a couple of letters, so that's blue heliotrope. And you look at that and that, look, that's, that's pretty good. You've got those vein leaves, you've got yep. uh, the other leaves there. There's a few little flowers there. What's, what's yeah. the flowers doing? So when you look at flowers, it certainly gives you a description and a, a picture of the flowers. Um, and look, you know, I think I think it's... it's probably not blue heliotrope, but it's no, certainly a heliotrope. Certainly a heliotrope, yeah. but, and these are blue and they're white, look like white flowers coming up there. Well, that was easy. Let's see if we can find something more difficult for it. Okay. The idea for the app came out of a GRDC Southern Panel meeting in mid-2010. Suddenly everyone, you know, had bought themselves a new iPhone and were proudly displaying their new iPhones and all the apps they could get. And then the question was raised, well, what's there for agriculture? And we came up with the idea of let's grab the ute guides, which are a really useful tool and are well liked by growers. And why don't we give them that sort of information so they can have all that information on their iPhone rather than having to carry around multiple copies of other bits of information when they can have it all there in the one spot, readily accessible and uh, uh, with a technology they understand. Now, what about this one? I, I don't recognise that, do you? No, look, I don't. It's obviously a summer weed, but I couldn't say for sure what it was. Let's see if we can identify it. Yeah, so what we do is we look at all of these uh, categories here. Let's go for prostrate, prostrate or erect. Mm -hmm. uh, I reckon it might fit in there. What we can do is just uh, scroll through these and it's none of these. Um, it's just a matter of finding one that looks pretty close to it. I reckon it looks quite something like that and sort of the name seems familiar and the information on the back basically gives us all of the uh, common names. Goosefoot, so yeah look that rings a bell and then when we look scroll down at the main flowering months well this is a, this is an amazing plant when doesn't it flower when doesn't it flower <laughs> so from september right through to may yeah. so obviously more predominantly summer and, and that's right we've nailed we've, it we've definitely nailed that one sourbane it is that's sourbane yep the app works in the paddock even if there's no 3g coverage it's not constantly downloading the images because they're already on the phone while the feedback's been positive, three and a half stars on the Apple App Store, it's still only version one, with more weeds and better photos, priorities for future versions. We're certainly getting some, some good feedback on the quality of the photos. Some of them aren't good enough to do decent identification, and we're missing some weeds. One of the parts of the app itself is you can take a photo and store it against that weed on your app. Um, we're, we're also looking at getting some professional photo photography on particular weeds where they've been done against the proper background, whereas a lot of the photos of weeds taken in the field don't have a good background for identification. And there's already new functionality on the way. Some of the things that we're looking at is how we can automate some of the imagery displayed according to the time of the season that a grower actually looks at the app itself so that when they open it, it, it will bring up the most relevant image for the particular weed type that they're interested in. Any filtering functionality that we can build into it is definitely an area that we'll be, be focusing on. It's how to make that practical and, and to cover the diversity of, of weed types across the nation and also according to what, what growers actually want to filter by. So it's definitely important to get ongoing feedback about what works well and what doesn't work so well. The iPhone version launched in December and it's now also available for Google Android phones and a version especially for the iPad built to make full use of its higher resolution screen. And the developers at Reading Room in Canberra are already working on the second app in the series, Insect ID, an adaptation of the Insects Ute Guide. 
not just the insects but also the beneficial insects. It's definitely an area that we've covered in, in our Ute Guide series. Slightly different functionality but where, we're, where possible we're trying to maintain the functions within the app to ensure that growers don't have to re-educate themselves every time they get a new app from the GRDC. We're also going to run out a whole series of ute guides. So we've got the weed one, we're working on insects that's just about to be released and then we'll start working on leaf diseases and root diseases and, and a whole range of other useful uh, apps. It could be huge. Um, almost every day there's a new innovation coming out through um, Apple, through through Android, through a range of tools and technologies, it just continues to evolve and, and GRDC has to get on the gravy train almost to ensure that we, we are keeping up to speed and our growers are equipped with the latest technologies and tools to, to address their everyday needs out, out in the field. Now if you want more info on the Weed app, there's also an article in the current issue of Ground Cover. Heck, if you've got an Android phone or an iPhone, you might as well download it because it's free.